Hi guys, welcome to our class discussion for the subject Introduction to Counseling. Here is the video for our first module, which is entitled Counseling. Let's start with this first statement, guys, about counseling, that it is an art and science. I know that you have something in your mind or in your thoughts if you would really agree or disagree with this statement. Now, let's find out through the objectives that we are going to um, meet, I hope so, at the end of the video, that you'll be able to differentiate counseling and psychotherapy and identify what's the meaning of the two, identify the relationship between counseling and psychotherapy, determine the aims or goals, the diversity of theory and practice in counseling, and lastly, guys, to discuss a user-centered definition of counseling. I know that there are lots of definitions that might be given for the term counseling, but let's just focus on a user-centered definition, okay? Now, counseling is an art and science. Why is it an art and science? It is a short-term interpersonal theory-based helping profession. It's really an art by even listening to the term, guys, the helping profession. Because once you're really helping someone, it's really, it really takes a lot of art. Because you are having that art of listening skills, your passion. If you really love what you're doing, imagine that if you're counseling, you are into listening, dramas, problems of other people. Diba? Kaya from that, it really takes patience. That was by loving that profession. It means that you'll become effective somehow. And it's also a type of science because it's theory-based. Of course, it really needs lots of research then, guys, before you create or you do something. Kung alam mo naman, kasi minsan, di ba, there are researches that was made that would really be helpful for us na minsan pala yung mga practices na ganito ay hindi talaga nakakatulong or it might just cause um, something or it might just cause... Alam mo yun, mas lalala pa yung sitwasyon ng inyong mga client. And its aim is to resolve developmental and situational difficulties. Let's all remember, guys, that counseling, it's not, it's not just for uh, in times of difficulties kung kailan may problema na, but sometimes it could be a way then to uh, do it as a preventive measure. Kasi sa limbawa, sa, in terms of educational settings, uh, minsan, di ba, ayaw natin mapariwara yung mga estudyante. Then, providing counseling to students, then, uh, could be a preventive measure by doing it through, uh, in an informative way. And, counseling helps to bring change in life, change in thought, change in emotion, and change in behavior. Di ba, ang bibigat ng mga term na to. When we say counseling, that it really brings change in life. Oh, how would we? You really change someone's life, di ba? You, uh, it could be someone like inspirational ka or somewhat like um, napaka may influence mong tao as a counselor. And that's really make the counseling a form of art, di ba? And not just change in life, but even change in thought. Napakahirap i-change ng thought ng isang tao. Kaya it really is a process and it takes time. That's how counseling works. And even change in emotion. Malalaman natin later on, guys, kung ano ba talaga yung mga aims and goals ng counseling. Why is it even defined this way? And lastly, change in behavior. I know that this is somewhat like some uh ano eh, mabigat din talaga you could not easily change someone's behavior unless it's your client or yung taong yun ang mismo magde-decide sa sarili niya kung magbabago ba siya or hindi kasi in the first place you cannot really change other people maybe you can influence or inspire but in the end ang makakapagpababag makapagbago ng talaga ng isang tao ay ang sarili niya and uh, that's one of the reminder that we should have in mind once we provide counseling to someone, guys, na hindi tayo yung ano yaman, susi ng pagbabago ng isang tao. 
it's always the results. What we can do is to guide them or to facilitate them na sabihin, oh, ito yung tamang susi or ito yung tamang way or dapat sa tingin mo ba, you let them actually realize something that it's na sila talaga yung pinakasusi ng uh, pagbabago sa sarili nila. And let's not take it uh, against us guys na pag halimbawa, nag-provide ka na ng counseling for a couple of sessions but then there seems uh, nothing that happened para mang walang nagbabago dito baka ako na yung may mali. It's not, it doesn't work that way. Of course, sabi ko na nga, you're just there to guide to help them. But later on, guys, alamin natin kung ano ba talaga yung mga practices na dapat natin ano, isa-isip. Kasi baka wala na tayo sa tamang lugar. Eh. Kasi in terms of counseling, it takes a lot of efforts talaga, practice, and even ano, dapat magiging expert ka din sa field na to. I have here, guys, uh, a research that was made kung ano ba talaga yung top 7 na helping professions. Kasi as what I said earlier, yung counseling talaga is a top of helping profession. The big hearts, big opportunity. Ito nga yung sinasabi nila that in terms of a helping profession, uh, you're not just having a big heart, but it also could give you a big opportunity, not just for yourself, but also for other people or dun, lalong lalo na sa mga client natin. And ito yung top 7 na lumabas na research that was made uh, na ni-research din ng isang writer na si, let's just check, na si Kristen Godfrey Maddox that was in the year 2018. So according to him, guy, her guys, yung lumabas sa research na ginawa ng isang specific university, the first talaga na top helping profession is the clinical mental health counseling. Or in short, ganun talaga ka, ano, ganun ka kinakailangan isang counseling. And we have the criminal justice, human services, nursing, psychology, public health, and social social work. Imagine that one, guys, how is it that counseling became the first or the top talaga na helping profession? And according to them, guys, more than 43 million American adults deal with mental illness each year. That's according to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, with issues such as addiction, childhood trauma, and dementia, and aging population, driving the demand for licensed counselors, the need for them is expected to grow more than 23% through 2026, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Imagine that one, guys. Tataas pa at tataas talaga yung mental illness. This is only in America na research. But then again, there are also a couple of researches that was made din talaga na lumalabas. Not just for adult ha, even students were having their um, depression or meron talaga silang mga problema. <laughs> even yung sa mga competition pangalang sa school, de ba? It could cause a lot. The pressures of friends, the family, the yung mga parents that could really cause a lot of problems or students. Kaya talaga yung counseling ganon talaga siya ka ano meaningful for others at ganon siya ka helpful. Imagine guys, uh, upon attending lots of seminars or webinars na binibigay ng Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association ha, uh, based on sa mga researches that was made. Ang counselors talaga is badly needed, lalo na ngayon during pandemic or during that time na nagkaroon ng lockdown talaga. Increasing then ang numbers of people who are undergoing depression or lots of mental issues. Kasi nga, we all know that there are lots of things that was cancelled or hindi talaga natuloy. And then, that really needs a lot of counseling talaga. Kasi from family pa lang, financial, emotional, Diba kung nakakulong ka lang or we are during that lockdown or ngayong pandemic, diba? Sobrang uh, daming limitations na pwedeng gawin ng tao. And mental health counselors support their clients through difficult life experiences, help them set goals, and provide critical emotional support. They enjoy a rich, rewarding career where they can make a difference by using their listening, 
problem solving and interpersonal skills. Imagine that one, guys, you could, um, this career of counseling will is such a rewarding career because you could really make a difference by just listening, uh, problem solving, and interpersonal skills. And not just that, guys, ha, hindi lang yan siya listening. It's not a passive one, but it should be an active one. Since you are guiding your client to um, to decide for the decision making and to cope the different types of problems and emotions. So, ganun. Based on this research, guys, or the, this top na helping professions, we could really say na kailangan talaga yung counseling. And I know for you as a teacher, uh, psychologist, or psychometrician, or kung gusto nyo talaga mag-focus sa mental health counseling, then, then that would be a great one talaga. Kasi nakakatulong talaga siya. And... Um, when we say counseling kasi guys, there are lots of definition, but I want you to focus or I want to focus dito sa American Counseling Association and Division 17 of Counseling Psychology. The American Psychological Association have defined counseling in numerous occasions. Their definitions contain a number of common points, some of which follows. Here are the specific object, object or definition that was given, guys, in American counseling. Uh, counseling is a profession. Practitioners should complete a prescribed course of study, usually leading to a master's degree or a doctorate degree. So, of course, counseling is someone like you are... Kaya hindi lang siya basta-basta nakikinig ka lang sa client mo, di ba? Kasi anyone could actually listen. But as a count, uh, in terms of counseling talaga, it takes a lot of practice. And there should be a prescribed course of study that leads to a master degree. For example, guys, dito sa Pilipinas, sa si sobrang konti ng guidance counselor, uh, of course, pag sa school ka sa dapat daw, talaga may guidance counselor. But because there are only few people or Filipinos na kumukuha talaga ng master al or degree sa counseling, bumababa talaga. And aside from that, uh, sobrang baba din talaga ng sahod ng mga guidance counselor sa Pilipinas. Kaya, syempre, practicality, di ba? Kung ikaw yung mag-aaral ka, ba't kakukuha yung guidance counselor? Except lang talaga if you really love or you have this passion na uh, to listen to other people. And dito kasi sa counseling, dito sa, iba, sa Pilipinas sa you could not really call someone a guidance counselor. Yung sa mga school natin, di natin sila matatawag na guidance counselor. Kung wala silang license, they could be called as guidance coordinator but not guidance counselor. Kasi kailangan na yun ng lisensya. And of course, why do we need this practitioners to have this master's degree or doctorate degree? Bakit nga ba, di ba? Counselors are actually members of organizations that set professional and ethical standards and promote state licensing, uh, licensing and certification by national associations. Kaya nga, di ba, yung Philip, kaya merong association for guidance counselors sa Pilipinas, yung Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association. Kasi nga, they have their own, um, nagsiset sila ng professional and ethical standards. Kasi pag walang mga standards, how would we say that we are providing a quality counseling? Nga naman, di ba? And counselors should possess personal qualities of maturity, empathy, and warmth. Guys, maturity. Kasi imagine that one, may kinig ka ng problema ng client mo or they're having so much difficulties. Sabi nga nung um, professor ko during my ano, graduate study dito sa counseling, guys, na napakahalaga daw talaga ng maturity. Kasi imagine na to, baka pag sobrang nakakaiyak yung konento ng client mo, mas nauna ka pang umiyak kaysa sa kanya. Siya pa yung mag-guide sa'yo para huwag nang umiyak, di ba? So, ayun. It's really take uh, maturity and empathy. You're putting yourself in the shoes of your client. Isaisip mo na, lo, paano kaya pag dun sa, ako yung nasa lugar niya, di ba? So, it's not just an easy tas talaga na basang pakikinig lang should have an empathy and also warmth na parang magiging feel comfortable yung client mo na they could really share something from you of course 
uh, if that person would feel comfortable, tapos feeling na, ano talaga, nire-respeto mo siya, in that way, yan, mas magiging quality talaga yung nabibigay natin counseling. Okay? Kaya, counseling is a profession. And next one, counseling deals with personal, social, vocational empowerment, and educational uh, concerns. Now, what is it? Ba't kailangan mag-deal ng halos lahat? Personal pa, social, even yung educational concerns. Let's all remember that counselors work only in areas, guys, in which they have expertise. These areas may include intra and interpersonal concern related to school or college adjustment, psychological health, aging, marriage, family issues, enjoyment, and rehabilitations. For example, ako, I'm counsel, uh, I'll be providing counseling. Of course, dapat magka-counseling din ako to someone that I'm really expert with. I cannot provide counseling to someone who are about marriage life, di ba? Or marriage issues. Say, wala pa naman ako sa stage na ganun. But once I have that experience already, or alam ko na yung... Kasi, how will you provide guidance to someone that you don't have an experience with yet, di ba? Paano ako magbibigay ng... No, dapat ganito sa relasyon or sa mag-asawa. Eh, wala pa nga akong asawa, di ba? So, that's how it works. And counseling is conducted, guys, with persons who are considered to function with the normal range. Kaya nasa normal range sila, clients have adjustment, developmental, or situational concern, and their problems require short-term intervention. Pero kung mabibigat na yung mga problema nila, or ano, let's find it out later. Doon na yung papasok yung psychotherapy, guys. And... They are not concerns and they are not considered sick but stuck. Yun yung ano, uh, main difference ng dalawa din sa counseling and psychotherapy. When we say counseling, people are not sick. They are just stuck. Kasi minsan, di ba, um, there are times that we don't really have mental problems or uh, disorders. But then, we just feel stuck na parang ayaw tinatamad ka. Or you're not really properly guided. You don't really know what to do. Yun yung mga need talaga ng counseling, yung mga nalilito. Yan. And uh, counselors draw from a number of theories and work in a structured environment. Structured environment naman talaga kasi uh, the client should feel secured at tapos, tapos at home dapat siya. And dapat clear then between the two, yung counselor at saka yung client niya kung ano man yung pinaka-objectives nila for that specific session. Kasi baka kwento lang kayo ng kwento, you don't really know kung saan papunta talaga. But it's okay naman talaga. It, that's why it really takes time. As long as alam nyo kung saan, pat, at saan anong patutunguhan na pinag-uusapan nyo, there should be an outcome for it. And uh, counseling is a process in which clients learn how to make decisions and formulate new ways of behaving feeling and thinking. Ayun, di ba? Ganun pala talaga ang counseling. Um, you are counselors focus on the goals their clients wish to achieve. Kaya di ka nun pwedeng magsabi, kaya ito yung sinasabi na maging client-centered din tayo sa counseling kasi it's all about them. It's not about us counselors eh. Kaya dapat kung ano yung goal na gusto talaga na yung client na achieve, then we have to talk to it. Kaya di ba, you are there to facilitate, igagayad mo, para alam niya. Baka kasi kwento lang kayo ng kwento, tapos in the end, you don't really have a clear objective in mind. And kung saan ba talaga patutunguhan yung pag pinag-uusapan nyo. Kasi sayang din yung oras, di ba? And clients explore their present levels of functioning and the changes that must be made to achieve yung mga personal objectives nila. Thus, counseling involves both choice and change. Yan, dapat talaga may choice ka and then there should be change. In this picture, guys, kung may kita nyo, a uh, counselor might ask or might guide this client, are you going to take it or leave it? Tapos, syempre, it really takes time na pag-uusap, lalo na pag ang client natin, I'm sorry, what other options are there? 
Diba? Kasi hindi nila alam kung tama ba yung options na binigay ko or choices. Meron pa ba? Hayaan mo silang mag-isip at ano, hayaan mo silang mag, ano, mag bigay ng iba pang choices. Kasi sometimes there are cases kasi na hindi natin alam kung anong dapat gawin. But inside our heart and inside our mind, we actually really know. It's just that we are not aware or hindi lang natin inaamin sa sarili natin na yun talaga yung pinaka best way. Kaya that's how counseling process works. You have to help the client to make their own decision and formulate new ways of behaving. Kasi they know the answers already. Eh. They just need validation. Uh, for example, I actually watched a video about counseling process na uh, yung client niya ay having a hard time talaga to move on dun sa ex niya. And then, lagi niyang sinusundan or sh- that girl was even ano eh, na disappointed siya na why is it that di niya sinunod yung 3-month rule bakit one month pa lang kami niwalay, nagkaroon na siya ng bagong girlfriend. And in that way, masyado siyang mahirapan. And there was a time na after three months, binalikan siya ng ex niya. And this client, or yung babaeng to, nag-call siya dun sa counselor niya. I don't love the relationship between the two. Kasi nga, andun yung ano, uh, may connection yung client eh. Kasi, Uh, informing the counselor na ganito yung nangyayari sa kanya. Sabi nga niya, is it okay? Yung tama ba na ano, na babalikan ko siya? Kahit ano, nagkaroon na siya ng jowa or parang kahiwalay na kami. Kasi hindi ako makamove on sa kanya. And then, in that way, nag-ask ng advice, di ba kung babalikan ba or hindi. But what the counselor did, which is tama talaga, You are not the one to provide advice or provide the decision for your client. Let them think at tapos let them formulate kung ano ba talaga yung pinaka-decision nila. Ang sinabi lang ng counselor sa kanya is, that depends upon your decision. Kung okay lang sa sa'yo na uh, maging ganun siya ulit sa'yo, na hindi niya kinakonsider yung feelings mo, or ano, I think, alam mo yun, kasi nagtanong pala yung client, ay, uh, yung counselor pala, bakit ba in the first place nagkahiwalay kayo? Ano ba yung mga reasons mo? Kasi ganito, hindi siya na yung feelings ko, ganito, ganyan. Is it okay for you na magbalikan kayo? Ganun ulit siya. Hindi niya kinoconsider yung feelings mo, or hindi siya ganun ka-appreciative. That client actually think, nag, uh, nag-isip siya, oh nga, ano, pag ganun lang din mangyayari, babalikan ko pa kaya yung taong yun. Baka ganun ng cycle na lang ulit na mag-aaway pa rin sa mata like that. In the end, what the counselor did, just listen and guided the ano, the client to think what's right and to decide ng sarili niya. Hindi dapat yung counselor <laughs> to decide. Let our clients decide what they really wanted. Ang sa atin lang ay make them enlightened kung ano man yung mga nangyayari sa kanila. Kasi minsan, nakikinig Uh, sa mga client kasi they're focusing more on their emotions and we know that emotions is not actually take ano di ba hindi naman talaga yung tatagal sometimes gugustuhin lang natin but in the long term talaga if it's really bad for us or hindi naman nakakatulong why are we going to continue it di ba so that's what counseling is all about one definition and another thing guys counseling encompasses various subspecialties Each has specific educational and experimental requirements for the practitioners. Thus, counseling can be more precisely defined as relatively short-term interpersonal theory-based process of helping persons who are basically psychologically healthy resolve developmental and situational problems. Kung kaya naman isolve ng ating client, kaya yun, binibigay talaga yung counseling. And counseling activities are guided by ethical and legal standards and go through distinct stages from initiation to termination. Kaya, sa counseling talaga, kailangan ng mga special, kung saan ka magaling, dun ka dapat mag-focus sa field na yon. And, kasi, merong mga ethical and legal standards na dapat nating sinusunod 
in terms. Lalo na yung number one na yung confidentiality talaga. Hindi tayo basta-basta share about what's going on with our client. You have to keep it and then um, and go through these thing stages from initiation to termination. But, guys, uh, isa din sa natutunan ko during my... Uh, during my, this is as a professor ko about sa counseling talaga, yes, let's not stop dun sa termination na term. Uh, we have to do follow-up daw talaga. Kasi, what's the reason of initiation and termination? Kung wala namang follow-up, how will we know that what we did really helped that client or meron bang nakakatulong ba or baka napasama pa sila kasi that's one of our assignment eh, as, as a counselor na dapat ma-check natin kung okay pa yung client natin di ba baka kasi kulang or may pagkamali tayong nagawa and in that way it's not just for the client but for us as a counselor tayo nagbigay ng counseling dapat tayo gumagawa ng follow up din kasi para malaman natin di ba we are actually keep on ano, developing our skills naman. Even those experts still have that, ano eh, marami pa silang uh, kailangang matutunan. Yun yung sabi nila. And that's what life actually works. And of course, in this field naman talaga ng mental health, uh, kailangan talaga ng, kaya, kailangan research-based din ta- tayo. At ma- kaya sabi doon, theory-based, di ba? Kasi that's how it works. Sometimes, there are things na obsolete na or hindi na talaga gumagana na at least or ayun, kailangan din ng pagbabago talaga. Here are the objectives, guys, or important goals of counseling. What are they? And we need to be uh, familiar with this. I just have to move it upward. Baka si bumababa to. Okay, so here are the important goals of counseling. May apat, guys. Tandaan natin lagi ito. The first one, to facilitating behavioral change. Guys, facilitating, ha? Hindi tayo nag-change, nag-facilitate lang. Enhancing one's coping skill, promoting decision-making, improving relationships, and lastly, I'm sorry, there are five goals pa rin. Improving relationships, and lastly, facilitating one's potential. Now, let's take it, uh, look at it one by one. Uh, kasi dito, di ba, we, our clients could be like this, guys. Nasa picture. This person. Who are actually blinded by the fact or from the truth. Minsan, baka hula-hula na lang. Ano ba talaga perfect na ano, choice for me? Is it a yes or no? Maybe leave it to the lawyer. O di ba? Because so sometimes we actually know the answer. Things in the sabi ko, just that we just need someone to listen to us and feel validated. Kung ano man talaga yung decision na gusto nating mangyari. And let's start with the first goal: facilitating behavior change. Now, uh, in this picture, may kita natin na. Uh, yeah, I just move it upward. When we say facilitating behavior, guys, it's behavior change according to Rogers, 1961. He stated that behavior changes as a necessary result of counseling process, although specific behaviors receive little emphasis during the counseling experience. Totoo yan. Kasi hindi naman talaga more on counseling kung client-centered ka talaga. Nagkikinig ka lang sa kanya kung ano man yung sinasabi niya or kung ano man yung uh, pinagdadaanan niya, di ba? And however, behavior change pa rin ay necessary as a result ng counseling process. So, it could be through asking questions or by repeating kung ano man yung sinasabi ng ano, ng client mo, mag-agree ka ba? Or, yun, hayaan mo lang siya maging enlightened kung ano man yung sinasabi niya or pinapaniwalaan niya. According to Dustin and George in 1971, on the other hand, suggests that the counselor must establish specific counseling goals. It's not just actually the counselor, ha? Dapat nag-uusap yung client or yung counselor for the goal na gusto nila. Almost all theories agree to bring about a change in behavior enabling the client to live a more productive and satisfying life. Of course, kasi pag mag-stuck lang sila dun sa 
Paano mo yung thinking nila? Without even having the change in behavior, di ba? What's something more? There's, kaya nga di ba sa education, there's no such uh, thing as learning without a change in behavior. Kung wala namang pagbabago, it means hindi natuto yung isang tao, di ba? I have here a clip art kasi so, yung dito sa picture na to. Pinapakita actually dito kung paano yung process ng behavior change. Kaya hindi talaga siya basta-basta mangyayari lang sa isang session or sa isang setting. Kaya huwag natin masyado pressure yung sarili natin na pag provide any counseling, nagbabago agad yung isang tao. Of course, all we have to do is provide awareness. But, ano, dapat magkakaroon ng awareness ng ating client kung ano may pinanggagawa nila, kung tama ba or mali. They should have the knowledge on what really have to do, kung ano yung epekto ng mga desisyon nila sa buhay. Contemplation, dapat hindi isip sila to be enlightened. Kaya may mga counselor talaga na ganun eh. They are really trained enough. Tapos alam nila yung feeling ng isang tao na alam mo na yung sagot eh. What they did is providing ano lang, interventions para mapaisip sila or mag-contemplate. It could be some therapy or may mga activities na pwedeng ibigay talaga yung isang counselor in terms of behavior change talaga. And lalo na dito, pag-stage na ng contemplation. Kaya hindi siya basta-basta. It's a process talaga, long process before ka mag-change ng behavior. And next will be the intention. Magsiset siya ng intention. Ano ba yung dapat na next na gagawin mo para maiwasan to or para mangyari yung mga gusto natin. And next is the action. What you have to do and when are you going to start it. Diba? And then lastly, maintenance. Dapat you have to maintain. You have to be uh, really disciplined enough to keep what you are planning to do or i-keep mo yung mga ginagawa mong changes. So, that's what behavior change is. Kaya, tandaan natin, counselors are not the center of it, or hindi tayo yung pinaka-ano. We are just there to facilitate them, to help them, or to guide them para mangyari yung change na yun. And, of course, another goal din ng ating counseling is enhancing copes, uh, the coping skills. Of course, other people are really into counseling. Pumunta talaga sa counselor if they have problems. Now, they're asking for coping skills. Few people completely achieve developmental tasks. Inconsistency of significant others can result in effective learning in children. New interpersonal or occupational role demands may create an overload and excessive anxiety. And counselor helps individual to cope effectively. Ito talaga yung mga example, guys, na pwede nating ibigay, intervention sa ating mga clients for them to have a healthy cope, uh, coping skills. And of course, hindi ikaw mismo ang magsasabi, gawin mo to, ganito, ganyan. Of course, you let your client, or by asking questions, what do you think, the, uh, ano yung mga bagay na ginagawa mo that would really make you feel relaxed or sa tingin mo magiging masaya ka? And they could give the answer. And in that way, all you have to do is validate them. Oh yes, that's really a good practice. You can actually do it. Kung feeling mo malungkot ka or ganto ganyan ka. So ito yung mga sample ng coping skills guys. Depende ito sa client mo. Ano talang gusto niya. Hindi, hindi yung gusto natin. Uh, we have relaxation techniques. Ito naman, this is a basic one. Lalo na pag pupunta yung client natin na hindi sila sa relax mo. Kasi first of all, diba, you should make your client feel comfortable. So, relaxation technique, deep breathing, meditation, progressive muscle technique. So, pwede natin yung going during counseling. Lalo na pag time na mag-open up sila ng napaka big deal talaga sana na problema. Then, you could, ano, okay, you have to take a uh, deep breath, uh, na breathing talaga. Uh, exhale, inhale, exhale, gano. Pwede yon. An exercise, you could actually give this to them kung minsan feeling nila ay hindi sila masaya, malungkutin sila, may depression sila. You could actually advise this or pwede natin silang pagawa itong mga coping skills sa kanila. Basta gusto nila yung uh, mga skills or coping skills na to. We have gardening, engaging in outdoor activities. Kaya nga, di ba? Um, yung gardening talaga, yung nagiging karoon ng plantita, plantito, 
there that's one of the great coping skills na meron tayong mga Pilipino during this pandemic or during the lockdown, di ba? Na uso talaga yon. Engaging in outdoor activities, hiking. So, yeah, hindi na siya masyado. But now, na okay na. Pero, it, uh, at meron pa rin siyang mga ano, limitation talaga. Practice gratitude. Uh, I love this one, guys. Yung practicing gratitude talaga. It's very helpful and a good intervention. Uh, anyone could actually do this kahit sinong client man natin. Kasi once we actually feel somewhat, uh, parang we have this practicing gratitude, magpapasalaman kung anong meron ka, you're actually focusing on positive things. Even yung mga negative things, sometimes if you, your heart is full of gratitude, that, uy, buti na lang parin, nangyari itong mga itong bagay, kasi there are reasons. So that's a good one. Uh, playing sports, reading, journaling, kaya, ayan, pwede nating pagawa yan sa kanya. Uh, ito yung sasabi ko, huwag natin ipilit yung mga coping skills na hindi naman gusto baka kasi, pilit na, oh magbasa ka magsulat ka, tapos yung client naman natin they are not into reading or writing at all so let's be careful of it so all we have to do is to know more about our client, kung ano man talaga yung pinaka gusto nila and we could advise or facilitate or let them think and let them ano decide kung ano man intervention na gusto nila Based on this example that are examples that are given, and uh, promoting decision making, counselor just promotes not makes decisions, guys. Okay, like for promote kala, it is sinasabi ko you can promote the specific uh, examples and coping skills, but you are not there to make decisions. You can give advice or ad- advise them to ano kung ano man yung way na pwede nilang gawin, but you are not there to decide. Counselors provide information, guys, clarifies and sorts out personal characteristics and emotions, and even attitudes affecting decision-making. The clients learns to estimate the probable consequences in personal sacrifice, time, energy, money, risk, and the like. Kasi minsan baka yung decision nila talaga mali-mali, pero minsan... Kahit alam mong mali na yung decision na gusto ng client, but if that's what really, that they really wanted, hayaan mo sila, hayaan mo silang bumalik sa'yo. Kapos na yung decision mo, okay ba? Or nakatulong ba talaga sa'yo? Then do the second choice, di ba? So let them decide. Kasi, para sila matututo, di ba? Kung tayo lang mismo yung magde-decide para sa kanila. Paano pala pag mali yung decision mo, di ba? As a counselor, what would happen? Ikaw yung sisisihin, di ba? di tayo dapat naabot sa gano'n. And the clients learn to estimate the probable consequences. Dapat na hayaan natin siyang if that would be your decision, ito na yung pinagawa natin. That would be decision. What do you think are the sacrifices? May mga advantages ba? Disadvantages? If this would be your decision, ano yung masasayin? Masasayin ba yung life mo? Yung money? Or you'll take a risk of it? yun yung mga pwede natin gawin. You let them decide kung ang decision ba talaga nila ay tama or ito yung pinaka-perfect na plan na gusto nila. Another goal that we have to talk about is improving relationships. Many people have problems relating to others as much of our life is spent in social interactions. That's true, guys. Kasi the more that we interact with other people, There are actually different types of people. Merong mabait, merong, alam mo yun, there are different attitudes or iba-iba sila ng values or even beliefs, di ba? Kaya, minsan, the more ka nakipag-usap or the more kapag mingle ng others, other people, that would really cause problems also. Kaya minsan yung iba, di ba, they prefer to just um, to be... Ano tawag niya ito? Mag-isa na lang or to become an introvert person kasi wala sila iba iniisip. They don't even bother to listen to other people's thoughts or ano may yung mga judgment nila. And according to Bowie's attachment theory kasi, he stated that children of insecure and rejecting parents establish their adult relationships in uh, differently than those of secure and understanding parents. Kaya nga, di ba, ano, ito yung uso ngayon ng, ano, pag pangit yung ugali na isang tao niya, hindi ka kasi mahal ng mama mo or whatever, di ba? There's somewhat like a good, ano, may 
a certain point doon na tama according to dito sa attachment theory na to that other people would really have lots of problems in terms of interacting with other people kasi nga uh, they have this poor uh, poor self image tapos unstable self esteem hindi naman sinasabi na pa hindi ka malang mama mo it's actually more on merong poor self image kasi imagine that ang kahit nanay mo ayaw sa iyo or hindi ka minahal de ba so it's somewhat like um analogy lang talaga siya that how it would really affect a person's life kung walang pagmamahal from the parent itself at walang understanding from the parents and counselor strives to help improve quality of relationships sometimes counselor improves relationship by improving client counselor relationship kaya minsan di ba pag sa school setting ay pinapatawag talaga yung parents to check what's going on with the student or kung ano man yung problema pinagdadaanan sa bahay and the parents have the right to be informed talaga kung ano nangyayari sa ma- sa mga anak nila sa school and here are the stages of attachment kaya kasi guys that's this is an attachment theory that uh, the first one is the pre-attachment it's from birth to six weeks baby shows no particular attachment to specific caregiver and then indiscriminate six weeks to seven months infant begins to show preference for primary and secondary caregivers dito na yung nangingilala talaga yung bata kung saan siya sa or hindi kasi minsan naman na umiiyak na lang yung bata bigla kasi that's in the stage na siya ng indiscriminate they have to check talaga kung tapos more on babae ba, pag lalaki. Kasi minsan, di ba, may mga batang ayaw nila na may mga specific na ano na sila eh, quality na ayaw. Kung babae, lalaki, or mga boy book, or somewhat like that. And na, uh, next, uh, the third stage naman, discriminate. that seven plus months. Infant shows strong attachment to one specific caregiver. Kaya pag kanino, di ba, minsan may mga bata nga na mas close sila sa yaya nila. Kasi nga, eh, parents. Kasi during that stage, yun talaga yung may strong attachment, yung bata. So, mo, kaya mostly ginagawa talaga ng mga parents, like mothers. Uh, minsan, hindi sila nagtatrabaho talaga, nasa bahay lang talaga sila. Para ma-develop yung stages of attachment na to sa kanilang mga anak. Alam yung mas secure yung feelings nila and for these children to have a good self-image tapos to establish din yung self-esteem. And then multiple, ito na yun, 10 uh, plus months, growing months with other caregivers. So, it can be parents, sa mga grandparents. So, mas lumalawak yung closeness or yung attachment ng isang bata. So, kaya dito sa time na to, uh, these children talaga or toddlers should be guided well, or yung mga babies na to. Kasi dapat, ito yung parang ano eh, they're somewhat like um, napaka ano nila, napaka vulnerable nila. So, that's how it works. Kaya pa ito, cancel or uh, you should establish talaga relationship. Kasi minsan may mga bata na sobrang tigas ng ulo, kasi pala may problema sa bahay or, ay, ano ba yun? There are really lots of things that might happen. So, it's a task of a counselor to help them para mag-improve yung relationship ng bata sa parents or even sa classmates, sa school setting kasi kaya minsan merong mga ano din, mga techniques or strategies to check if sino yung nalilift behind or sino yung sa section na to hindi masyadong friendly. And the counselor will actually help this child or the student para makipag-communicate siya with the others. And facilitating the client's potential. Of course, once you... Fa- uh, kasi may iba't iba tayong galing, di ba? Once we actually help this client to see their full potential talaga, it will actually help them to become motivated enough and maging confident sila sa sarili nila. The counselor attempts to promote the, cha- uh, the client's growth by improving personal effectiveness and skills like interpersonal relationships and problematic behaviors like smoking, eating, drinking, shyness, anxiety, and depression. Yun, kasi pag nakakatulong naman talaga yung counselor sa client, then that's good thing. 
according to Blucher of 1966, he suggested that counselor maximizes an individual's possible freedom within limitation. Ima-maximize natin, but there should always be a limitation. Kasi we all know kung masobrahan naman talaga ay may mga disadvantages din na pwedeng mangyari. Then, counselor seeks to maximize a client's effectiveness promoted by giving him or her control over the environment. Kaya nga, di ba, we are facilitating them. We could ask them, uh, for example, uh, pag ang isang tao ay into music, di ba? If that way, parang may shy siya, nahihiya siya, then we could actually... Uh, ask the student, may alam ka ba ng organization sa kung saan pwede kang sumali para may enhance mean skill? I know you know that student or that person know a lot of things, lalo na pag alam sa sarili na, it's just that nahihiya lang siya. But all we have to do is to maximize natin yung alam nila. Yung tipong alam naman pala nila yung group na to. So let them say, bakit ayaw mo dito sa group na to? Or bakit nahihiya kang sumali? Let them be enlightened. What do you think are the disadvantages pag hindi ka sasali? Or ano kaya yung pwedeng mamiss mo na mga bagay pag hindi ka sasali? Or are you, are you sure na hindi ka magsisisi na hindi ka makakasali? Let that person feel confidence, confident sa mga gusto niyang plano. Kasi minsan gusto lang nila ma-validate sa mga gusto nila or sa mga uh, goals or aims nila in life. Kaya yun, you just have to facilitate that. So that's what the counseling all about, guys, in terms of user-centered uh, or the client-centered term, the definition. Now, let's take a look what's the difference between counseling and psychotherapy. Now, we have here a um, picture, guys, from pedia.com. Um, based on the research that was made, kung ano ba talaga yung difference between counseling and psychotherapy. When we say counseling, it's a short-term process. a short-term process lang talaga siya. But then, let's, ano, let us, don't forget na kailangan din natin ng follow-up sa mga client natin. And psychotherapy is a long-term process. Malalaman natin yan mamaya. Bakit siya long-term? And for counseling, it support the patient to inform day-to-day -day activities in normal and efficient manner. Pero pag sa psychotherapy, it cover the foundation of the problems and address in the most efficient manner. Para sa counseling, sa taas ka lang eh, na part, di ba? But then pag psychotherapy, you are digging the root cause, pinaka-foundation kung bakit ka ganito ganyan. Para ano lang yan eh, pag umiiyak ka, oh, na umiiyak ka kasi nasugatan ka. So, ang counseling doon is hinihili yung mga sugat mo, pero ang pag sa psychotherapy, aalamin, bakit ka umiiyak in that specific state of matter or with that specific uh, incident? Ganon yung psychotherapy, mas malalim yung pinag-aaralan niya. And address issues in a less in-depth manner, di ganon kalalim talaga. But, Dito sa ano, it's a very deep manner once we address a certain issue for the psychotherapy. And uh, counseling deal with patients who are fit enough to think rationally and find solutions to their problems by themselves. Ito, kaya hinayaan natin sila mag-decide kung ano talagang pinakagusto nila or yung gusto lang gawin sa buhay. Kasi nga, they are actually fit enough to think rationally. Pero pag hindi, it involves individuals who are dependent on the psychotherapist to gain control over their personality, mind, emotions, and behavior. Ganon yung difference ng counseling at psychotherapy. Psychotherapy, or ang pinaka, ang client ay dependent sa psychotherapist. Pero pag sa counseling, uh, pinakasente talaga niya ay yung client. At makapag-express siya. Kasi nga, as a counselor, you know that this client na nakuha mo are fit enough to think rationally. ba? And according to uh, Sean Smith, guys, he is both a counselor and a psychotherapist. And difference daw talaga ng dalawa, counseling typically has predetermined to start and end. Lagi siyang start my end. 
But the assurance uh, provider will have set amount of sessions the individual permitted to have within a set amount of time. Kaya pag minag-uusapan din talaga between the client and the counselor kung ilang sessions sila, kung kailan ba bang mag-usap ulit, kaya ito yung sinasabi kung dapat meron din tayong follow-up. While the psychotherapy, according to him, is an ongoing therapeutic relationship with no predetermined end, di mo talaga alam. Kasi nga, uh, when you say psychotherapy, it's more on ano, mas malalim naman talaga yung pinag-aaralan niya. In counseling, the individual typically describes how the symptoms have manifested and is looking for a solution to the perceived problem. Whereas naman, pag psychotherapy, it explores the underlying issues that may have caused the symptoms to manifest. Nagbigay nga din si Sean Smith ng specific analogy para daw hindi natin malimutan kung ano yung difference between the two. Uh, let's say daw that while riding your bike, you fall and scrape your knee. This counseling would help you clean and bandage wounds so that you can get back on your bike again as soon as possible. Yeah, diba? Pag counseling, you are considering your, you're not considering, uh, you're not considering your client as sick, but stuck. Stuck lang sila. Kailangan ng guideline, kailangan nilang uh, help para bumangon ulit. Counseling should also provide the resources you need to clean in bed. Is your, uh, in clean bed is your knee if you should happen to fall off your bike again. Whereas naman, pag psychotherapy, would explore the underlying causes of why you fell off your bike in the first place. So, uh, alamin pa nila, is it more on physical, sa emotional, spiritual, alam mo yung ganun. Yun yung mas malalim talaga pag sa psychotherapy. Kaya, there's no, uh, parang wala siyang end kasi hindi malalaman, no predetermined end. Hanggat, walang end hanggat di malalaman talaga ang pinaka-reason behind on a certain incident or issue. Now, other might ask, which is better po ba ma? Is it psychotherapy or counseling? Now, if you'll be given a chance to choose between the two, ano ba talaga? So, you may decide uh, to see a counselor when. Yes, ito yung mga consideration na dapat natin alam. There's no best between the two. Malalaman ko sa, uh, natin yan kung ano yung mas better in a way kung Ano mas kailangan, di ba? Baka kasi, uh, iba yung hinihingi natin, ano, we need water, tapos ay bibigay sa atin ay soft drinks, di ba? Parang pangit naman yun. What is really needed? So, pupunta tayo ng counseling, guys, when you consider your issues as short-term, you need to learn coping skills for stress and relationship problems, you're finding it difficult to make adjustment to changes in your lifestyle, Tapos, lastly, you have substance use issues. So, ito yung mga ano, na pwede tayong gumawa, pumunta sa counselor. Now, kailan naman yung best time for us to go to psychotherapies? Uh, you may decide to see psychotherapies when you're coping with traumas that happened in your past. Kung trauma naman talaga, guys, that's really, ano, kung mas malalim talaga yung reason behind at mas matindi, then you go to a psychotherapist. You have a chronic medical problem that is causing emotional stress. Yan, medical problem pa lang. Psychotherapist na kayo agad. You have been diagnosed, diagnosed as having a mental health condition. Bipolar, manic depressive, OCD, anxiety disorder. So pag anon, psychotherapist na tayo pupunta. And you have seen a counselor and they suggested further more in-depth treatment. Kasi minsan, guys, Pag-counselor, um, minsan hindi tayo makapag-decide kung matindi ba talaga or ganun kalala yung problema natin. We can actually go to counselor first. Tapos pag makita ng counselor na hindi talaga, kailangan pa ng ano, treatment talaga. Tapos mas malalim na observation or pag-aaral. Then, this counselor could actually refer yung client dun sa isang specific na psychotherapist. Kasi ganun dapat yun. We should not take everything. Pag naging counselor tayo ng lahat, nasa sayo. Or ikaw dapat mag-handle. Of course, we should be humble enough that not all the things that we learn or hindi lahat ng bagay ay sakop natin. Okay? Kasi what we have to focus is about the client. Kung ano yung talaga yung nakakabuti sa kanila. And how the psychotherapy works, we discussed, uh, we discussed a lot about the meaning of 
it's like constantly. Hindi ko naman tayo psychotherapy. Psychotherapy is effective at finding the root cause for depression. Kaya ganun talaga. Um, mas matinding pag-aaral yan. And this type of therapy may assume that something in the past is responsible for the depression. Kasi sometimes uh, it's on our subconscious mind, diba? Hindi na natin inaamin or we don't have an awareness at all. It can be difficult to know if events in your past are affecting your mental health in the present. And this is where psychotherapy comes in. Many people don't realize how just how much traumatic events in the past can affect present decisions, motivations, and behaviors subconsciously. Kaya ganun talaga yung psychotherapy. Diba? Mas, mas maganda pag-aralan psychotherapy. But then again, guys, uh, ito yung relationship between the two eh. You would not really find out the root cause of it if you don't have a good relationship with your client. Kung hindi ka ganun kagaling mag-counsel or magbigay or alamin kung ano ba talaga yung pinaka-problema ng client mo, di ba? Kasi how will you provide a treatment as a psychotherapist kung hindi mo naman nakukuha yung loob ng client mo? Kasi minsan, dito lang nagkaka-problema talaga. Pag sa psychotherapy, you might be focusing more on the solution to check what's really the reason behind without even knowing na by listening. Kasi minsan sa counseling kasi, more on listening eh. More on uh, caring, listening with care sa client. Pag psychotherapy, you're actually listening to check what's the reason behind kung ano perfect treatment. But then, siguro yung iba, like yung si, ano, si Smith kanina, which is both uh, counselor and psychotherapist, maganda yon na pwede niyang pagsabayin. Ito yung sinasabi ko na kaya profession siya kasi you should have an expertise or dapat you are trained to do such a thing. And the aims of counseling, guys, let's start with insight. Ito yung uh, aims of counseling, the acquisition of understanding of the regions and development of uh, emotional difficulties leading to an increased capacity to take rational control over feelings and actions, as what Freud said, where it was, shall it go be. So, dapat alamin natin. And we should have that specific, ano, uh, we should have rational control over feelings and our emotions and actions. Baka kasi, mas nakokontrol tayo ng feelings at emotion natin kaysa tayo dapat ang magkontrol, di ba? And relating with others, becoming better able to form and maintain meaningful and satisfying relationships with other people, for example, within the family or workplace. Kaya, sama siya sa goal talaga that we have to relate with others. That's the goal of counseling then. And self-awareness, becoming more aware of thoughts and feelings that have been blocked off or denied or developing a more accurate sense of how self is perceived by others. Kaya, di ba, pag counsel ka, Counselor got the power of listening more and then you're asking questioning skills, the art of questioning, kung kaya mo yun, wherein mapapaisip na lang bigla yung client mo, yung ano, in that way you could actually provide self-awareness. And then, na-open nila yung mga bagay na binablock nila or they are denying about. Self-acceptance, the development of a positive attitude towards self, marked by an ability to acknowledge areas of experience that had been the subject of self-criticism and rejection. Kasi, uso kasi ngayon yung self-rejection talaga eh. Minsan, other people are not actually rejecting us. Minsan, tayo lang sa sarili natin na self-reject eh, di ba? Ay, hindi ko kaya yan kasi ganito ganyan. We actually start with a negative thought na kaya naman talaga natin eh. But, since we have lacked this positive attitude, tapos na tayo self-acceptance. We're having that hard time. Kaya pag-counseling talaga, we should also give this type of, ano, na magkaroon ng self-acceptance yung client natin. Let's validate what they feel. Validate kung ano may yung mga potentials. Kaya nga, di ba, kailangan to facilitate yung mga potentials nila in order for us to help them na magkaroon sila ng self-confidence or self-acceptance. And self-actualization or individualization moving in the direction of fulfilling potential or achieving an integration of previously conflicting parts of self. Diba, pag kay um, Abraham Maslow nga, diba, yung pinakamataas daw is self-actualization wherein you are developing your full potential to achieve that, ano, 
yung pinaka-perfect part of yourself. You really reach what you want. Yun yung counseling. You are actually properly guided on what you are, on where you are going. Kaya dapat meron tayong lagang goal na siniset between the counselor and also the, ano, the client. And of course, enlightenment, assisting the client to arrive at the higher state of spiritual awakening. Uh, it can be practice or activities na pwede nating advice or promote sa kanila para mas ma-enlighten sila. And problem solving, finding a solution to a specific problem that the client had not been able to resolve alone, acquiring general competence in problem solving. So, ito nga sasabi namin na hindi ka dapat magde-decide on what should be the answer or the solution. You have to guide or facilitate nyo lang yung client kung ano talaga yung pinaka-perfect na ano na choice para sa kanila. Basta just ask, just ask and listen kung bakit yun yung gusto nila. Hayaan mo silang sumagot at hayaan mo siya magkwento bakit yun yung gusto niya. And then later on, the client will actually think, ay oh nga no, bakit ba yun yung decision ko if that were actually what happened, di ba? And then psychological education, enabling the client to acquire ideas and techniques with which to understand and control behavior. Ayan. Minsan, hindi kasi natin nakokontrol yung mga bagay-bagay, lalo may emotion natin. But through psychological education na pwede ibigay ng counseling, we could really uh, help the client talaga. Acquisition of social skills, learning and mastering social and interpersonal skills such as maintenance of eye contact, turn-taking and conversation, assertiveness or anger control. So during uh, counseling talaga, there are times na magagalit talaga yung client mo bigla or bigla magwawala then you should have provide an intervention for it para matapos nyo yung ano yung counseling session niya so yun yung mga uh, binigay ko kanina yung coping skills yung mga techniques tsaka strategies anyway pag-aaralan din naman natin yan on the next parts of our discussion in cognitive change, the modification or replacement of irrational beliefs or maladaptive thought patterns associated with self-destructive behavior. Kasi minsan tayong may mali eh, yung client talaga alam na yung mali niya. So, what we have to do is dapat matutulungan natin siya ma-replace yung mga irrational beliefs niya or makakaroon talaga ng cognitive change. Kaya diba sabi ko na example kanina, with the client na nag-aas ng advice kung may pagbalikan ba siya sa ex niya or dun sa, ano niya, uh, BF niya dati, di ba? Ang ginawa lang ng, ano, ng counselor is to ask the client kung okay lang ba sa kanya na maging ganun ulit yung situation nila and what happened before, nung nagkahi, before nagkahiwalay sila. Yung mga, binigyan niya yung mga reasons na uh, binigyan niya ng client mismo about dun sa kung ano yung pinaka-reason talaga ba't nila naghiwalay. In that way, uh, you're letting that client to think or para ma-enlighten kung ano ba talaga yung totoong nangyari. Baka kasi nag-focus siya sa emotions sa feeling niya, nagpapadala lang. lang. Tapos, but in cognitive pala sa thoughts niya, ayaw naman talaga niya, di ba? So, that's what cognitive change na pwedeng mangyari during counseling. Behavior change, modification, or replacement of maladaptive or self-destructive patterns of behavior. Ayon, systemic change and producing change into the way that social system operate. And another thing, by the way guys, please do remember this type of, ano, yung mga terms that was used for the, ano, for counseling because we might be using it for the next chapters for discussion about counseling. Okay? Kasi po, it ulit lang din naman yung mga term na to. This is a generic term that was used about counseling. An empowerment, working on skills, awareness, and knowledge that will enable the client to take control of his or her own life. Yon. Kaya, magpupunta din minsan sa counseling kasi they don't really trust themselves so less than tiwala kung may decision nila. And then, sometimes they don't feel validated at all. But, after counseling talaga, isa sa aim is to make that client to feel empowered na, oh, kaya ko pala, ganun lang pala yung kadali, bakit ba ako nagkaroon ng mga hesitations before like that? And restitution, helping the client to make amends for previous restrictive behavior. Kasi minsan, di ba, we are focusing on the regret na parang kala natin wala na tayong magagawa. But still, pag sa restitution, you are actually guiding the client to make amends about the, ano, sa mga previous destructive behavior niya. 
because there's always a thing that we can do. Maybe if it's already done, but then we could do something for ourselves, di ba? Na hindi tayo yung, um, di natin hinihila lalo yung sarili natin pababa. We should do something na that would really amend us for our destructive behavior. And generativity and social action naman, inspiring in a person that is hard, capacity to care for others and pass on knowledge. And to contribute to the collective good through political engagement, community work, it is unlikely that any one council or counseling agency would attempt to achieve the objectives underlying all the aims in this list. On the whole, psychodynamic councils are focused primarily on insight. Humanistic practitioners have aimed to promote self-acceptance and personal freedom. And cognitive behavioral therapies have been mainly concerned with the management and control of behavior. So, dapat da talaga pag sa counseling, dapat nakakuha din ng social action and general activity yung ating mga client. Kasi, we should have this focus din talaga as humanistic practitioners. We aim to promote self-acceptance. Kasi, it's more on ourselves. Paano nga naman kakaroon ng self-acceptance yung client natin? Kung saan, kung lahat ay sa atin talaga nagmumula yung mga advice or mga kailangan gawin, di ba? They're actually there, kaya minsan hindi talaga nagbibigay ng advice yung isang counselor kung anong gagawin. Hindi yung direct chance. Oh, ito dapat gawin mo. Kasi nga, you're not, kasi ang pinakain ng counseling is to empower. It's for the client to feel secured, validated, dapat ma-assure siya na tama yung ginagawa niya, di ba? Kasi baka, it should not be, ano eh, maging dependent dun sa counselor kung ano yung decision niya. Dapat guided talaga siya and be empowered kung ano yung pinaka-perfect thing to do na mas nakakatulong sa client. Because in the end, pag ikaw, counselor, nagbibigay ka na advice, dapat ganito, tapos mali yung decision mo. O, oh, tanggap ka ba na ikaw sisihin ng client? Of course not, ba? Diba? And are you sure na yung pinili kong advice ay akuma ba talaga dun sa gusto niyang mangyari? We don't even know that client has actually something in mind. Ayaw lang talaga niya sa sabihin kasi she's not empowered. Parang di, wala siyang confidence sa sarili niya, ba? Diba? So that's how counseling works, guys. So let's all remember that one. And the potential outcomes of counseling can be understood as falling into three broad categories, guys. It's the main outcome. So, on the next activity na ipapagawa ko, you already learned or identify kung ano ba talaga meaning ng counseling, kung ano dapat i-consider, dapat mga iwasan. Ito yung mga potential outcomes naman. A resolution of the original problem in living. Resolution can include shift understanding or perspective on the problem, arriving at personal acceptance of the problem or dilemma and taking action to change the situation in which the problem arose. Kaya, after, dapat, ito yung ano eh, dapat nagsistart talaga with objectives between the counselor tsaka ng, ano, ng client. Hindi lang kwentuhan na kayo ng kwento na ba't siya nangyayari. You should set a goal. O, oh, ano sa tingin mo yung pinaka-goal kayo natin? Anong pwedeng magandang mangyari outcome natin after this session? Hayaan mo lang yung client mo mag-provide. Sana makaisip ako ng solusyon kung ano ba talaga yung pinakamagandang desisyon, kung, kung aalis ba ako or magsistay yung mga ganun. At the end, they should have the resolution of the original problem. Dapat magiging confident na in the end yung client natin kung anong desisyon na pipiliin nila. Again ha, hindi dapat tayo ang magbibigay ng desisyon. It should be the client always. And learning, dapat may learning, engagement with counsel may enable the person to acquire new understanding, skills, and strategies that make them better, able to handle similar problems in the future. So, in the first place, di ba, yung pinakain talaga ng ano is to help the client to be confident enough and to learn something and to be, uh, to have the self-acceptance. So, yun, pag once you have learning, dapat di ka lang nandun na para maglabas lang sa loob eh. You should have learned something na minsan may mga counselor talaga na magagaling na you let them, you, they will let you realize something and you'll become self-aware. Kasi may mga thoughts tayo na binablock eh or we are denying that it actually exists. But through counselors or good listeners talaga in letting you facilitate yung mga feelings mo, 
ayun, ma-realize mo yun. And you could actually learn something for yourself. And lastly, social inclusion naman. Counseling stimulates the energy and capacity of the person as someone who can contribute to the well-being of others and the social good. Okay, guys. So, I think that's all. We already tackled about the pinaka outcomes in terms of counseling here or the uh, references where I got the information that I provided to you.